Hey guys, welcome to my review of the premiere for Better Call Saul Season 4. One of the things I really love about this show is it finds a way of taking the simple and mundane things and adding a depth and an intensity to it. There's a scene where Jean, the alias that Saul's adopted after the events of Breaking Bad, is having some of his papers checked, but because there's an added depth to that that he's afraid of being found out, they managed to put the music, put the tone, the camera work close up to the face so it's all quite intense. They find a way of making mundane in terms of putting you in his shoes. You know, they know how to let the actors really create the character. But they don't beat you over the head with what's going on in their head. They have a subjectivity to them. That They have a depth which enables you to have multiple opinions about them. One of the things about Jimmy is you like Jimmy, but you see he's becoming Saul, and as you see him transform into Saul, you start to like him, I think, a bit less but you empathize with where he's coming from. Saul in Breaking Bad originally was just a two-dimensional character. What I love about this show is that you're taking a two-dimensional character and adding a real depth to them. I'd say Jimmy is a more likable character than Walter White ever was. So seeing him fall from grace is really, really interesting because it's so tragic. In this first episode, like one of the criticisms of the show is it goes really slowly. Breaking Bad, I felt like every episode there was a huge transformation, like there was a real step forward. In Better Call Saul, because it's not really drug dealers, it's lawyers. I say each episode can be summarized in a bullet point. This one, it's Chuck's funeral. That, and that's pretty much it. Maybe also he finds out that Chuck killed himself because he was depressed about the insurance. But, you know, it's still quite slow. And one of the criticisms that I hear time and time again is it moves too slowly. And I feel like sometimes they try and drag it out a bit. We're on season four, potentially the penultimate season. We still haven't really seen... Saul Goodman all that much in a show called Better Call Saul. But despite that, the show is interesting because it finds a way of adding twists. Everything that's happened with Chuck, the end of season three, the end of season one, even the end of season two, they find a way of making that absolutely fascinating. You know, how his relationship with his brother has led to who he will become in the future. But at the same time, I feel like the ending of the first season and the end of the second season, even the end of the third season, in some ways, they could have all been episodes back to back. I feel like in Breaking Bad it would have been three episodes, not three seasons. And it's crawl gets to an end of a season, which is really interesting, which has a great twist. But I feel like it still moves quite slowly. And that's something that I think isn't for everyone. It's a slower pace, and I feel like it's still a very niche show. All right, so if you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and maybe leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of the episode.